Welcome to Pop Culture Theater. I'm your host, Otis Figby, and it's time to get into the groove. Perhaps you've heard the expression, music hath charms to soothe the savage breast. Long ago in Detroit, a little girl named Madonna did just that. So, let me get this straight, Mr. McKenzie. All I have to do is sing Love Child for you, and I'll get an A, and get to skip phys ed. Yeah, yeah, and if you dance, anyone who ever calls you four eyes will get expelled, hmm? You are a silly principal, Mr. McKenzie. But okay. Several years later, it all came to a head on an infamous Bye. television award show. Bottom line, where the hell is my contact lens? I know I dropped it down here somewhere. <laughs> This may be the coolest award show yet. This chick is nuts. <laughs> Not to mention, hot as can be. Yeah, hot. This is the Madonna you took me to see? All right, so it was a bad idea. Madonna's sexual appeal made her the most famous woman in the world. But still, she harbored ambitions. You're writing a book? Oh, come on. I'm telling you, Freddy, I'm not giving up on this. I am going to write my own book. Oh, great idea. Listen, there's only one thing that sells in this world, babe. That's S-E-X. That's it. It's perfect. Wow. Hey, that's you. And so it has gone for Madonna, books, tours, movies, even albums. And slowly but surely, that little girl from the Detroit playground became an icon. Just look, and you'll see her face everywhere. Oh, my word. What is it, sister? <gasps> oh, not her. Thank you for enjoying this edition of Pop Culture Theater. I'm Otis Figby. Just between you, me, and my perky traffic cones, you've made me feel like a virgin. Touched for the 2,562,791st, oh, 92nd time.